Welcome to the demonstration video for the Kid Coder game programming course. In this short video, you'll learn about some of the topics that we cover and see some actual games that your student can create. All of our courses come with self-study student textbooks, and these are designed to make your students really enjoy their computer experience. Your students will use their textbooks and a computer to complete hands-on activities in each chapter. Now, this combination of textbook and hands-on experience really lets them see their work come to life as they learn about game programming. Don't have computer experience yourself? No problem. We have solution guides and files which give you everything you need to assist your student as they work through the course. Our solution files contain tests, answer keys, and complete solutions for all of the student activities. The game programming course covers important game concepts used in many different types of games. We teach how to draw shapes on the screen and how to move objects around the screen. Students will also learn about collision detection and basic animation techniques. And we'll also review some basic concepts of game physics, like reflection and gravity, which make game objects behave in a realistic manner. Now let's take a look at some of the actual games that your student will work on during this course. Our student textbook provides detailed guidance on each programming step. This is the Bubble Blaster game, which is very similar to the early Asteroids arcade game. The student will complete this game over several chapters, and it will be used to teach various concepts of game programming, including drawing graphics on the screen, moving objects around the screen, simple animation, collision detection, and adding sounds to a game. The Go Fish game is used to teach artificial intelligence. Most of this game is already written for the student. They will only be responsible for writing the code that has to do with the computer player. So they will need to write the code that will allow the computer player to pick a card, either based on what the human player has already asked for in the game, or just picking a random card. The Chain Game is the final project for this course. Now this is a two-player strategy game, and we will use this game to sum up many of the game programming concepts that the student has learned in this course. We now offer optional instructional videos that cover every chapter and lesson in the textbook. While these video lessons are not a replacement for the textbook, they are ideal for students who learn better with an audio-visual reinforcement of the material. Each video lasts around 5 to 10 minutes and will describe the lesson concepts with graphics, animation, and live action video. If you need any more information, or if you have additional questions, you can contact us through our website by clicking on the contact link at the top of our homepage. We're always happy to answer questions via email as well. Thanks for watching.